Hey all, my name's Ian. I'm gonna be teaching you how to rig a 420 today. So once you have access to the shed, we'll have everything we need in there. Uh, life jackets, rudders, and sails. Come on, follow me. We've got our life jackets up here on the left, and our rudders over here on the right. You can grab your sail, pick a rudder that looks nice for you, and then you're good to go down to the boats. Each of our boats has a specific number, one through 12. Sails uh, correspond with those boats, so you wanna make sure you grab the right sail for your boat. So I picked up sail seven, so I'm going to boat seven. All right, first thing we wanna do once we get to our boats is just get these covers off. Pretty simple. Once we have that cover almost entirely off, you're gonna to wanna to take this main halyard right here. Just lower it nice and slowly. Usually in a square knot, so we'll just untie those. You can let them both go. We're just gonna feed that blue line out from the cover. And that cover is fully ready to be taken off. All right, once we have that boat with the cover off, we can go ahead and put our sail in it. To do that, we usually undo the top of the bag, just a little cinch. Put the whole bag into the boat. And you rip the bag off. Now, as you all know, these boats have two sails, so we're gonna have to rig each separately. It's up to you which one you wanna start with. Usually there's two people, so you can each do one. I personally like to start with the jib. So I'll grab that jib out, and I'll take the front of the bottom of the jib, called the foot. This has a little metal loop in it. You can get all the way up here to this little pin on the front of the boat, on the bow, and just take that pin out and then fit it right in there, put it back in. Now we're gonna grab this right here, this pink line on here. This is called our jib halyard. Untie that jib halyard from the cleat on the mast, and you can go ahead and lower it down. Now, sometimes this little bracket slash clip will be attached to different parts of the boat, but it'll almost always be found on the side of the mast. You're gonna undo that, and you're gonna find the top of your jib. Now you wanna make sure that jib isn't twisted in any way that's gonna hurt it once you pull it up. But at the top of the jib, you have another little metal loop. It's at the skinnier side, that's a good way to know it's the top. You're gonna to put that clip through, line it up, twist until you feel a little click, and then you're set. Now what we're gonna do next is pull this jib up. Now there's a couple ways to do this, however, I have my own little way to make this purchase system that you're gonna do with the pulleys. First, I like to start with the end. I'm gonna go into this little hole on the cleat and put it going towards the back of the boat. Pull that slack out until you have that pulley at the top of the pink line at about face level. You're then gonna take the end of that jib halyard, put it through the pulley going towards the front of the boat, pull out that slack again, and then there's one more pulley all the way at the bottom of the mast. You're gonna work the jib halyard down there, put that one going towards the back of the boat. Now the reason I like to do this purchase system is usually you have to have two people to put tension on the sail, meaning you're gonna pull that mast forward. If you do it like this, you can most of the time just do it on your own entirely. So once I've got that all set up, give it one good pull until it's tight, and then you're gonna tie a little cleat knot on there. Now the trick with the cleat knots is you wanna cross over, and you want it to look like there's two rivers under one bridge. So you're gonna cross over, loop around, and you got two rivers under one bridge. All right, now a good way to check if your tension is ready, you can usually go up here and just give it a nice little tug. You want it super tight on days with heavy wind. Right now, for a day like today where there's not much wind, a little looser is good. Now, since we've got that ready, there's only one more step we need to do with our jib. That involves the jib sheets. So, these two black lines at the bottom of the jib. You're gonna take one of them on each side of the boat. You're gonna make sure it goes on the inside of this metal wire, which is called a shroud. Inside this metal wire, through this little metal hole down here, and we're gonna tie a nice little eight knot. It's pretty easy, you make an alien head, wrap it around, punch it in the face, and pull it tight. That's what we call a stopper knot. It's gonna make sure if that jib goes out, the jib sheet's not going with it. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side of the boat. Another key thing is we wanna make sure these jib sheets are going in front of the mast. You do not want them going behind the mast or else everything will get tangled up when you're sailing. Make sure it's not going anywhere and you're set on the jib. Now our next step, we've got the main sail. So this one's not much more complicated, but it does take a little longer. All right, 
Our first step to getting this mainsail up is we're gonna wanna find the top of the sail. So I just found right here at the bottom. Work your way up. There's the top. It has this big plastic triangle pretty hard at the top. Now, we're gonna grab that loose end of this main halyard that was hanging just over the boom. We're gonna put it through that loop, put it through again, and we're gonna tie another little nice eight knot in it as a stopper knot. And now, this is a good way, instead of just tying the line straight to that loop, it'll usually get really tight and really hard to undo. This will allow it just to pull it on, but it's gonna be really easy to derig later on. Now, we're gonna put the top of this sail into the mast. What you wanna make sure when you're doing this is you have the side with the rope in it. It's a little lighter blue, and there's a rope running down the center of it. What you're gonna do is you can grab this. This is your working end of the main halyard. It's what you're gonna to use to pull the sail up and pull it down. I'm gonna fit the top of this sail into this ridge right here. Once you've got it in there, you can start pulling. Now we're gonna want, for the first step, we're just gonna pull it to this first batten, which is this plastic bar going through the top of the sail. Just pull it up to about there, and then you can cleat it off just in the meantime until you fix everything else. Same little cleat knot as used on the jib. This is to make sure our sail doesn't come back down while we are rigging the rest of the boat and getting the rest of the sail ready. We only want to pull it up halfway or partway because on normal days where it's really windy, we don't want our boat to be catching wind while it's still on land until we're in the water. Now today I will show you how to put it up all the way on land, but we do not want to do that most of the time. Now, once you have that little part in, you're now going to find the bottom of the sail. Work your way down that little line put in the front of the sail until you find this. Now we call these cars. They fit really nicely into these ridges that the sail fit into originally. What we're just going to do here, to that same ridge we put the sail into, except go down with it. Now the last step of rigging this sail is we want to make sure we get the back of the sail into the boom using what we call the outhaul. You take the boom and hold it up on your knee. There's another little car on this one. This one's a longer black one. There's a ridge in the side of this boom. This fits really nicely into. I'm gonna fit that in there, and pull it towards the back of the boom. Now we're gonna take this blue line that we used earlier and untied from the main halyard, and you're gonna work it through the left side of the sail. You're gonna put it through the left side, pull that slack out, and then there's this little black pulley at the very end. You're gonna work the working end through the inside of that pulley, towards the outside of the boom, pull that slack out. We're gonna pull this all the way up to the front half of the boom, where you see this little thing we call a pinch cleat. The reason it's called that is it has a little wedge in there. Once you pull this through, it'll pull tightly in there, and it's not going anywhere because it's pinched in. Once we've got it through the pinch cleat, we have this last little pulley right here. We're gonna put it through there, going towards the front of the boat, and this is gonna allow us to adjust this outhaul on the water while we are sailing, which is a key part of sailing. You're gonna tie a little stopper knot just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, and you're set. That main sail is entirely ready before you put this boat in the water. Now there's one last step we wanna do every time before we put the boat in the water, and that is check our plugs. Sometimes they'll be in, sometimes they'll be out. In this case, we have these two plugs on either side. They're just a little screw-in plug. If they're out, just screw them back in. And then we've got this, a little blue bungee with a tennis ball attached to the end. Now you're gonna pull that tennis ball tight until it fits right into that hole and hook it onto this little metal clip down here. Now that boat is not gonna take on any water. All right, now we're gonna pretend we're putting this boat, this boat is in the water and we are ready to put this sail up all the way. So what we're gonna do, so you're gonna have your partner hold onto the boat on the side of the dock and you are gonna get in the boat and start hoisting this sail up. You can untie that knot we tied earlier to hold it up and start pulling it all the way through. Now remember, this is not something we wanna do until we are on the water. We are able to do it today because there's very little wind. All right, once you pull that all the way in, you're gonna find this little metal uh, circle right here. You're gonna make a loop. This is our own little way of making another pulley system without using pulleys. You're gonna make a big loop using that as the top of it. You're gonna hook that little loop you just made onto the bottom of that cleat. Just put it around the cleat. Then we're gonna pull tight just to make sure we get every last bit of that sail all the way up. If the sail's not all the way up, you're not gonna sail as fast as you can. Then we're gonna tie another cleat knot, the two rivers under one bridge. 
and pull that tight. So now the sail's all the way up. You're gonna to wanna to check the top of the mast just to make sure there's no extra room you can pull that sail up. All right, now we've got this blue line attached to the mast. This is called our Cunningham. We won't go necessarily go over what this does today, but one thing we wanna know is you're always gonna to wanna to put it on that sail. There's this other blue hole up here that hasn't been used yet. Put it in going towards the opposite side of the mast. You're gonna bring it down to this pinch cleat on the opposite side and just pull it tight. Just pull the slack out of it. That's all that you need to do for now. Now this boat's ready to be put in the water. Typically, how you guys will do it, we'll have two people working on it. So I've brought in my best friend and roomie, Matt. Hey. Now we're each gonna grab a side of the boat on opposite sides. You're gonna lift it up and just push it slowly and gently into the water. Now once it's in the water, you're gonna turn it towards whichever side to make sure you have the side of the boat against the dock. Matt's gonna hold on to this metal shroud to make sure this boat doesn't go anywhere when I get in it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna gently hop in this boat, try not to fall in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put our rudder and centerboard down. Now I'm gonna start with our centerboard. What we do with this is you've got two lines attached to the centerboard, one red and one blue. This red one is what we're gonna use to pull the centerboard up. So since we're trying to put it down, we're gonna undo that red one, pull this blue one, and help it down. You can pull it tight through that pinch cleat. Now it's not going anywhere. Now that that's down, this boat's gonna be a little more stable as I walk across it. It's a good place to always start once you get in the boat. So now we're gonna put our rudder in. Our rudder has these two holes right here. On the back of the boat, you're gonna have two pins. They kind of look bullet shaped. All right, we're gonna clip this on. This one's broken. However, usually clip it, clip it onto this little ring down here. That's to make sure if this rudder ever falls out while we're in the water, it's not going anywhere. These things do sink. All right. We slowly lower this into the water. You want to line up this bottom hole first with that bottom pin. Once you have that lined up, you're going to line up the top one. Just push down until you hear that click. Now this little tab right here is going to make sure that rudder stays in. And that's what you're going to be listening to for the click. Now this boat is ready to sail.